I'm not... coming for so... you. Oh, yeah? Come, you fucking crazy fuck. Well, it's hard to be awake after that one. Uh, yikes. So they, uh, I, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know anymore. What, I don't know what kind of retardism books this. I mean, listen, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair was pretty good at the beginning. I'll tell you that. That was pretty good. Big E almost broke his head on the mat when he speared him off the canvas. I was taking another look back at that. God damn, dude. He almost, he fucking DDT'd himself there. He really, he like DDT'd himself. This bastard got waffled. He waffled himself, bro. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing, uh, <laughs> well, after watching that. Um, yeah, I, you know. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and uh, after being at, being out, just, I don't even know. People seem to like it. Hey, Vince has the rock's egg up his ass. You know, I, I got to believe that the rock's egg has got to be the beginning of the rock build. You know, I know that they said the rock wasn't coming. And uh, maybe it's just that he couldn't make it to Survivor Series, so this is like a, a way to lean into the next thing they're doing. Uh, you know, I don't know. This is a very boring show tonight, though. I am just utterly defeated by the world at this point. I don't understand the world at all. I don't understand anybody. I don't understand the world. I don't understand people. It seems like the world just is backwards. The world wants us to have a president who's asleep and a psycho and works for the deep state. And they want a vice president who puts black people in jail so she can make money. The world wants the WWE to be PG on a but go to Saudi Arabia. The world, the world wants WWE to get rid of WWE Network, but put it on Peacock and have it not work right. The world is 
WWE PG boring sleepy shit as opposed to what it could be. We want Vince McMahon and a golden egg. The world wants you to embrace pedophiles and child molesters. The world wants you to love pedophiles and child molesters. I don't understand that. Women beaters, child molesters, they love it. You get out of jail and then you get to run people over in a parade. MK Ultra is here. MK Ultra, the FBI and the CIA are killing you people and nobody cares. Nobody cares. The media is faking things and lying straight up to you about lots of things. Literally. On YouTube, you, you earlier in the year, you were not allowed to talk about the virus in a certain way or any way. And then all of a sudden, once they capitalized on it, then you were allowed to do it. But at first, you weren't allowed to do it. Xbox decided that calling their new Xbox, Xbox 4 or Xbox 3 or whatever, would be a bad idea. We should call it Xbox Series S. As if anybody over 40 is going to know what that means. This world may be the most retarded it's ever been. Survivor Series is a fucking sleepy mess as it always has been. This fucking pay-per-view has sucked ass. I, I think my two least favorite WWE pay-per-views are Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. Oh, no, 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 not TLC. Uh, Extreme Rules. I think Extreme Rules is definitely the worst WWE pay-per-view. Extreme Rules is the worst WWE pay-per-view because it literally is the opposite of what it's called. So not only is it not extreme, it's fucking horrifically fucking terrible shit. And I hope you hit the like button. And Survivor Series is just a pointless pay-per-view. The only reason why Survivor Series was ever exciting was when Hulk Hogan was in it or maybe anything after 2001 is just a waste of time. Charlotte and Becky Lynch was pretty good. That opening match was pretty good, actually held my attention. Some of the women's stuff in the next Survivor Series match was all right. And that's really about it. Nothing else held my attention. Nothing else at all. Maybe Biggie and Roman was a little exciting there. See the big guys in there doing what they were doing. And maybe I'm just bitter. Maybe I'm bitter and tired. Because you see, I got up at 5 a.m. this morning. And I got to get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. And which means I've really only got about 30 minutes left with you guys. And I had to watch this. I don't understand the world. I just don't understand it. I don't understand what's going on. But I, I do know one thing. I wish I had DMT or some like crazy DMT or something because everybody that takes this shit says that they drop their ego and they drop this need to control things and that when you do that you're really free because you see everything for what it is energy we're all just energy and uh you know if you just think positive and be the most positive person you can be hey listen if something unjust happens to you or unjust happens to someone else it doesn't matter because we're all just light anyway and what you do to me is what you do to yourself so if you give me unjust and hate I'll just give you love and care because I'm giving it back to myself essentially because we're all one and we're all we all can be become one big light 
And, you know, so I'm really wish I could get that DMT trip going. I mean, countless amounts of people say the same thing when they don't even know each other's had it. Like Mike Tyson, Lynn Johnson, Joe Rogan, so many people have had it and, and, and said this. And some of them have said it when they didn't know each other had, had taken it. And they go, yes, that's exactly what happened to me. I couldn't believe it. I was like a different person. It's enlightening, extremely enlightening. I think I need it really badly. With the way the world's going, I think I really need it really badly. You know? And, I, you know, I've got a little bit of it. But, man, maybe I'd like maybe I'd like WWE more then. I'd be like, you know what? It's okay. You know, that was nice. Like, it was pretty good. You know, they did their best. That was definitely not the best thing I ever saw, but you know, it was all right. In the end, I'm going to give them some love because, you know what? Giving it back to myself. You know? I feel like that shit would help me. You know? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like I feel like it could. I feel like I need it badly. Definitely need some Adderall. I'll tell you that. Oh shit, look at this guy. I'ma leave this briefcase right here. I'ma leave this briefcase right here. Oh shit, it's six! I'ma Come leave on! This briefcase right here. I'ma leave this briefcase right here. Uh, uh, I'ma leave this briefcase right here. Son, oh my run, god, run you run, big you fat, fat bitch. bitch! Run, run, run you fat bitch! Run, run, run you fat bitch! Run, run, run you fat bitch! Let's go, motherfuckers. Never run so hard in all your damn life. Fucking run, you fat bitch. This was shit. <laughs> Super chat party. Thank you, six. Oh, yeah. $100 million egg released for budget cuts. I know, dude. I saw though those memes and quotes. Like, now we know why fucking Vince McMahon had budget cuts. This guy spent fucking get a one hundred million dollar fucking egg. What a cocksucker! What the fuck, bro? Oh my god, that was killing me. Top Dono is six. We'll put him up on the screen. Thank you, six. What's up, man? Hey, man. I appreciate the fuck out of you guys being here with me and hanging out all night through this. I can't believe you made it through this fucking show, everybody. You guys are insane. Oh, by the way, six nineteen eighty four. Thank you. It's top donation. Um, it was actually uh, not thirty one. It was nineteen eighty four. Thanks, man. I I actually was late. I I was in a little bit of an argument, and I lost I lost track of time. Look at Seth Rollins. Look at him grabbing Seamus by the neck right there. Thank you, six pack. Um, no, I just mean on nights like this. I mean, coming up soon, hopefully I won't have this issue. I don't I don't believe because I will be uh my schedule should be changing coming up soon. So in the next couple of weeks, my I won't be as tired as I've been. I've been doing double shifts and appointments and things like that. So coming up soon, you know, things will go a little bit better and smoother. I'll be a little, I'll be a little more, what I'm trying to say is I'll be a little more entertaining. You know what I mean? I'll have better opinions. I'll be more entertaining because I won't be drained. You know, like I'm fucking drained. You know, it's not like a saying. It's like I'm very, like, I'm a... I'm like this is not to complain. It's just oh, it's just crazy. Like it's a, I'm at the point where I'm so tired I could just turn off the computer at any point and just walk away and be like, yeah, I'm uh, that's it, I'm done, I'm going to bed. You know, because I'm just. But in the past I would never do that. I would want to stay on as late and long as possible. You know, but knowing I got to get up at five in the morning. But it's just this. 
this does not help. When you get a show like this, it doesn't fucking help at all. Like, dude, the Survivor Series tonight was... I mean, we knew... Champ, forget it. Long Island has... What are we watching? Right now? It was so sleepy tonight. It's the best way to describe it is sleepy. Everybody was sleepy. The Randy Orton match was stupid until the very end. You know, there was multiple chants tonight. There was like AEW chants. There was, it's like, dude, you're at a fucking WWE show at this point. You don't need to go anymore. You don't need to go. Like, I understand a couple of years ago when the Bray Wyatt, uh, Seth Rollins, whatever those, by the way, Zia Lee, that fucking promo was fucking awesome. That was one of that. What, what, what you do? This is one of the best things about the show tonight. Was this not the best? One of the best things about the show tonight was this fucking promo. And for all I know, this promo happened on NXT, and I just didn't see it. Dude, this Zia Lee fucking comic book like man, manga fucking mangy fucking type of com, uh, fucking comic book story thing was awesome. Whatever it was. I don't know. It, this was awesome. This is the best thing about the show tonight, other than Charlotte and Becky, maybe. I don't even care that much about them. So, this was my favorite thing, was the Xia Lee promo. All night long, this was the thing I saw that touched me. I was like, man, what a fucking story. I like this. I'm going to cheer for her. Like, dude, she could have been a, like a big, fat, blimp person, and I would, I'd cheer for her. You know? She she doesn't have to be cool. This was cool. It was just really good. That was that real I really liked that. I almost want to show it to Leah, like and be like, look at this, do you like this? I can't show it to her though because we're gonna fight about Rittenhouse all night. Zaya will get a three week push and then she'll be released for budget cuts. Yeah, probably you gotta pay for that egg. He's gonna Vince is gonna be like, if you don't find that egg, I'm gonna have to fire some people. Some people are gonna have to get fired if I don't find the egg. So we're gonna have to go ahead and find that right now. Yeah. Oh uh. tomorrow night. What if the turkeys Monet- uh, no, Monday Night Raw review. What if they filleted us? What if they killed us and ate our children? What if the turkeys ate us? And what if they filleted us? If the turkeys ate us, if they had to hate us, Thanksgiving was a little bit different. Instead, the turkeys ate us. They gobble us apart But first they'd eat our nuts And then they'd eat our butt The turkeys the ate us What if, what if What if the turkeys Famous Famous B is in the chat What if the turkeys ate Come get some dick. What up, famous B B B B B B B B What if the turkeys ate us instead of mashed potatoes? Instead the turkeys ate us. Looks like my little lass needs. Shape. Well, I didn't get to read shells, don't I? Why would those three women want Sasha to get counted out? Those women looked like complete idiots. They could have got the win. Why was Omas eliminating his own team instead of SmackDown? It would be easier for Raw. What was the point of hyping The Rock? I, you know, I, I don't know what's going on, Pacharo. I mean, I think it's because we all knew it. I don't know, man. I don't think The Rock could make it for the Survivor Series, so I think they're continuing to hype him in a way, in a weird way. So I still think The Rock is going to show up, but I think that they just couldn't get him for this night, and they just figured it wouldn't work out. So this is the beginning of The Rock return type of thing. 
You know, it's still. I I guess I. You know, I don't know. Let me go back to Shell's don't know that didn't play the context, the words. Um, Shell said. Um, said I wasn't going to watch, but yup, I did like a dumbass. One out of ten. F you, Vince. Take that golden egg and shove it up your ass, you old fuck. I've loved WWE since I was a little kid. Now I despise it. Happy early Thanksgiving to all my American friends. Thank you, Shell. Unlike in Canada, whenever it's Thanksgiving in Canada, we always remember like the end of the night or something. But the Canadians, they always know it's Thanksgiving here in America because we don't we don't stop talking about it. Fucking hilarious. Thank you, Shell. Hit that like button. Stick a thumb directly at mass. If you guys are new to the channel, the Joe Crone Show here, hit that sub button. We've been doing this since 2012, if you can believe it or not. One of the longest running live post-show wrestling reviews out there. In fact, we think we might be the longest running consistent one if you go back and look. I don't think that's a deny. I don't think you can deny that, to be honest. But I am one of the fastest fucking dying one, I'll tell you that, other than Sean's view a couple years ago when he died. Um, we got 202 votes so far. 43% say terrible. 22% said didn't watch. So that puts it at a 66% negative score. And a 26% all right score. And 8% of the people thought this was awesome. Going to be all the people that watch me who are in WWE probably voted that. I'm guessing. But so far, overall, a negative consensus, it looks like, for Survivor Series, which is much expected. Pacharo, thanks for the $2. But thank you to uh, Shell for the $29 turkey bomb. That is definitely going to get Shell put in the top spot here, knocking off six. Thank you, six. Another OG. Shell $29, top dono. Get you up there. And hopefully soon I'll be able to do these shows longer again. And Jake, Jake may be returning at some point. He has been just fucked. He had a tooth infection. The guy's just miserable. I don't know. I talked to him and he's usually the one of the best at being positive or faking being okay. And uh, he, he ain't even, he's just a misery. So, um, yeah, Jake is just a misery right now. And, and listen, obviously, they, oh, nice, Sean, what's up? Obviously, fuck, man, Shirley Manson is hot. I love her. God damn. Damn. Shirley Manson was fire. I would eat her ass. I mean, <laughs> sorry. Um. So anyway, uh, what was I saying? <sighs> man, this is this is hard to do tonight. When a show almost gives you nothing, it's just so hard to do. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair tried. You know, they had a pretty good match. I thought that was a 7.5 out of 10, maybe. Pretty good match. The the Amos match, you know, Survivor Series showcase for Amos. Or Amos. Or Amos. Or Umas. Or Amos. Or Almost. Whatever you want to call him. Even though sometimes he's he really does sometimes have the look of like, wow, that guy looks badass. But the more I look at Amos, the more he reminds me kind of of Kurgan. La, 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 la. That Kurgan. You know the Kurgan. Kind of reminds me of Kurgan. It's like something's missing. He does look huge. Sometimes he looks awesome. But then there's this other side that's just missing. That makes me think this guy will never be a superstar. He'll never be a superstar. He looks feasible, reasonable to be a big guy for a little bit. But there's not another level. He doesn't have the level of a big show. He doesn't have the level of a Braun Strowman even. 
And I I would say that more like a great Kali, you know. And I and I think that's the tier system. I think at the bottom of the list is uh Giant Gonzalez, maybe somebody else, and after that, Great Kali. Amos is somewhere, I think, a, around Great Kali-ish area, although maybe above it because, or below it, I don't know, Great Kali had a, had, had a vibe to him that he was really this crazy big, well, I don't know, he's, Kali had more of the comedy. But almost is pretty awesome, but it's the wrestling, I think, that's really missing. And obviously, he's new, guys. This guy should have been in NXT for like five years before coming to the main roster. Instead, he was in NXT for like a second and then came to the main roster. This guy's fully green. He's there because he looks fucking awesome. It's like me. Every time I work at a job or every time I'm in training for something... Or any time I talk to people about getting hired somewhere in the past, back in a year ago and years ago and whatever, people always think, they talk to me and they say, dude, you're going to be so good. You're going to pick up on this real quick. You seem very smart. You're going to be very good. And I say to them, that's not true. I am not that smart. In fact, I'm very dumb. I know that sounds crazy. I have very good communication skills. I have strong I would say above average communication ability. And that is covering up for the fact that my comprehension as far as learning things is very bad. It's below average, wildly below average, like scarily below average. However, my ability to convey emotion to you and to communicate with you and to connect with you is so strong and so high. You are getting a false confidence from me. And 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 now the next thing you'll say is, oh, you're yeah, come on, man. You're you're being hard on yourself or whatever. No, I'm not. I really am a fucking moron. And you don't understand. I can't comprehend a book, a page. I can't follow instructions. I can't learn and retain things. You can't give me certain homework and have me come in the next day having it done. You can't give me basic instructions that other people will follow easily, and I, I will not. However, if you speak to me and look at me for a few minutes, you will believe I am well put together and smart. While I am borderline retarded, Almost is that way in the way that, okay, you don't need to learn all this wrestling stuff. You don't need to learn these moves, those moves, these things, this psychology, this way to be, this confidence here, there, the other way. You can just learn on the fly because, man, you got it, man. You got the look. Let's just get him up there now. Let's just get him up there. He's not ready, but get him up. Throw him in there. Let's go. He's big. So he gets the sneak because he's big. Just like many times I would get things because I speak well. And because I speak well, you believe I'm smarter than I am. And you will find it hard to believe that almost in the ring, you know, is supposed to be there. Is, or isn't supposed to be there until you see him wrestle. Until you see me have to perform the things that you train me on. But, you know, Amos is where he is. And, um, I, I, you know, I kind of like him. I, I kind of like Amos. I kind of like him. But I just don't... I just think that they should be working him a different way. I don't think he needed to do big guy defeats everyone, but, you know, because I, I only think that the guy should be pushed 
to a level where he's winning matches if he's about to have a major push. But I certainly don't think this guy should be having a major push because he's not in that realm of performance yet to do that. So why do this? So I question why this happened tonight, but whatever. The thing I question more than results, I could, I almost give a shit about the results at this point in WWE. I almost give a sh no shits about who wins and loses usually. The thing that makes me mad is that I'm not entertained. Everybody knew almost was going to win. And then everybody knew Bianca Belair was going to win. It couldn't have been more obvious when it was four on one. And you're like, oh my God, is Bianca really going to come back and do the comeback win thing? They do this all the time now. And then when Sasha Banks pisses off her team, just, you know, conveniently pisses off her team, which we've seen this a million times, then she gets eliminated. And the only thing I could think was maybe Shayna will win and then she'll have a beef with Sasha. But I'm like, man, Bianca's going to fucking come back and beat everybody. And it was so obvious at that point. That it was like, all right, so both of these Survivor Series matches were just super obvious. And then the gobbledygooker was here tonight in a fucking golden egg and got lost in, in Pat Patterson's asshole. S -s 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 Super chat party! Yo, man, more. What's up? Oh yeah. The only good thing was Sasha and Valer in the main event and the egg script. Why is everyone's gimmick a goofy character? You know, I don't know. This, this, the WWE is is like a fucking dude. It's 1993 again. Okay. Do we want to watch 1993 WWE again? Guys, it's 1993 or 1994, whatever you want to say. Let's just look up a 1993 WWE promo. If you don't believe me. Three times the action on USA. First, this round of the fiercest face to face competition on the inside track on the week ahead. And Let's go 94. I think it's 94 we want. See if we can find a promo from from nineteen ninety four. Can we do it? Nineteen ninety four WWF promo. I mean, dude, the we're it's nineteen ninety four. We're basically in nineteen ninety four. Mister Bob Backlund, hi, Bobby boy. It's me, Big Daddy Cool, World Wrestling Federation Champion. And in no way have I added to any decay. You know, Bob, <coughs> you're kind of an expert in decay. <coughs> Taking a look at those choppers you've got. Floss and brush after each meal. Bobby boy, it wouldn't have happened. Belong in a cage? I'm an animal? Bob... I'm a genetic wonder. Doesn't this promo sound a lot to you like some of the things we hear nowadays? And I'm much more articulate than you. I don't have to go to a dictionary to pick my words. As a matter of fact, Bob, actions speak louder than words. And I took something from you more precious than life. Sounds kind of like Roman Reigns when he was a face, doesn't it? I took it in a matter of seconds, and I can do it any time I wish. Bob Backlund, say hello to your World Wrestling Federation champion for as long as I want to be. Bob, you want it? Come get it. I'm a real easy man to find. By the way, that was uh, right around, uh, bef right before, you know, everything got set in motion for the water coolers to be taken away. 
right? Ever wonder why the water coolers are taken away almost? Not hard to figure it out. And I would actually argue that this time was still better than the time we're in right now, for sure. So, you know, you can make fun of all the goofy gimmicks and everything, but this time was better than now. Let's take a look at all the managers of WWF at the time. Dink, Luna, Cornette, probably the best one. The Men on a Mission guy. Alpha, fucking Sika Alpha, somebody. Uh, Harvey Whippleman. Captain Lou. Paul Bearer. I mean, you can say what you want. About 1994. But these character ideas is exactly what the WWE has gone kind of back to. You got fucking doink. Tatanka, Lex Luger, Mr. USA, Mabel from Men on a Mission, Reza Ramon, Brett the Hitman Hart. <laughs> oh, boy. We are back to 1993, 1994, and 1995 WWE. WWF, whatever you want to call it. We are absolutely back to that time. Except the people have less charisma. The scripts are worse somehow in a weird or more boringly repetitive. Um, and the wrestling is just, it's just not the same. I think it was simpler times in WWF in 1994, 5, and 6, or 1993, 4, 5. And I think that those simpler times made these sort of more boring times stand out better. Right now, it just feels like we're lost in the ether. You know? Because even though it was a downtime, you know, there was still 3 million people watching. You know, at least Shawn Michaels had some charisma. No, trying to figure it out. I again, Zia Lee had the was one of my favorite things of the whole night was Zia Lee's fucking promo. Seth Rollins is the sole survivor. <laughs> Hilarious. Seth Rollins, the sole survivor for his team. Amos wins the Rumble, the Royal, the Battle Royal thing, the Survivor Series Battle Royal thing just felt obvious that it was made for him. Randy Orton and Riddle's match was boring up until the end, I thought. I thought the the, the very end stuff was fun because of Orton, I guess. And RKO's, I mean, and uh, Matt Riddle's exciting and fun sometimes for a second, you know, and he was, and it is whatever. Nothing significant entertained me, though, other than Becky and Charlotte at the, at the beginning was a good opener. And then, and then it just went, Pfft. and I guess Big E versus Roman felt like a big, kind of felt like a pretty decently big match, maybe, or felt like it could have been. Oh, man, this 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 so reminds me of 1995 or, or so, WWE. Oh, yeah, oh, we yeah. got a new subscriber, yeah, freak out. Hell, yeah. Yo, Dark Panda 7. What the fuck happened to Dark Panda 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1? Yeah, we'll subscribe. Thank you, Dark Panda. Appreciate that. Appreciate you being here, Dark Panda. 
Let's just think of some of the other WWE promos from 1994 and 5. <laughs> well, guess who? Yes, it's me once again. This is the guy that's going to arrest me probably soon. Subject? Well, what else? Taxes. Because nothing in this world compares to the power of taxes. Not even death. Because as I have demonstrated the past few weeks, everyone, and I mean everyone, sooner or later has to pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. So here is my final graveside tax tip. By the way, it's Bray Wyatt's father, for the people that don't know. Most people do, but some people don't. And who the fuck tied his tie? I never thought about this. Who the fuck tied Rotunda's tie? What the fuck kind of fucking... I guess it doesn't look that bad from here, but... It doesn't even look like a fucking... What the fuck is that? Looks like you just twisted it in and tightened it. I don't, I don't, whatever. Since everyone is just dying to get in here, I was contemplating on investigating every last tax cheat in this place. However... Those investigations are going to have to wait due to the fact that I have something much bigger to audit. And that's you, Undertaker. So be forewarned that you're under investigation by me, IRS. And when I'm through with I mean, you, this is better than stuff now. it will be you that will be resting in peace. <laughs> oh, man. How about Bob Backlund? Diesel! Diesel! You're not a man! Bob Backlund's fire, though. You don't deserve to walk down the streets with the WWF belt around your waist. He called it a belt. He called it a belt! You're an amoral individual. You're despicable. A real man would have walked into the center of the ring and shook the man's hand and said, the best man is going to win tonight. I love that he chose... A camera angle from his cock. Like we go, yeah, I want the camera to look like it's my dick looking up at me. <laughs> like, what do you think? Fuck. I love it. Super chat party. Yo, Mosh Master D, what's up? Oh, yeah. With the Pittsburgh Steelers tying the worst team in the NFL, then losing tonight, the world has fallen to shit. Dude, we don't know what's going on tonight. Did you see the fucking Dallas game? How about the fucking games today in the football? <laughs> the fuck is going on in the NFL, dude? Don't even try to predict the NFL this season. The fucking Titans lost! The fucking Titans lost to the fucking Texans! And the Kansas City Chiefs beat the fucking Dallas Cowboys. Marshmaster D, I don't know what's going on in the NFL. Looks well, like my little lass needs... The <laughs> fucking NFL's fucked. Yo, why the hell can't WWE get SmackDown at least one win? Why do they have to lose every goddamn year? Does WWE you know not know Fox is going to be pissed because they are making their own show look like crap? Why everyone tonight had to look like re You know why? Because Roman Reigns won. Roman Reigns is the champion on SmackDown and he won. In the biggest match of the night, in the biggest match of the show... Roman Reigns, a guy from SmackDown, won. That's why. It's called compensating. That's exactly partly what it is. You know, one time the NXT won. Remember when NXT won everything that night or won fucking everything? Yeah, it's called giving one to the little guys. I guess. Raw's the little guys. Raw loses every fucking week to SmackDown. Right? Right? So they, they gave the little guys what they gave. And then Roman, the big guy of SmackDown, wins the whole fucking thing. Roman is the number one guy in the entire company. 
which means SmackDown is bigger and better than Raw. The ratings reflect it. Roman reflects it. This result reflects it. And they threw a bone to Raw for the other bullshit. That's about it. You're welcome. That's the answer. Ho, ho, ho. Mary. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yes. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas night. I got too drunk on Christmas night. I should have hung myself from the Christmas lights. I got too fucking drunk on Christmas night. I got too fucking drunk on Christmas night. I should have hung myself from the Christmas lights. I got too fucking drunk on Christmas night. I hope Santa runs me over with his goddamn sleigh. WTF, here it is. Oh, six! Yeah, motherfucker, here we go. Oh. Everyone knows I'm out the window, yep. Yo, motherfucker, no romance, cause there ain't no chance in my happy pants. Could you perchance come and take this dance? And leave me here, I'm a bad motherfucker, ain't got no fear. What the time, was the time, motherfucker? Time, motherfucker. Yo, put, put it in a happy rhyme, rhyme motherfucker. It's, it's Glock o'clock. Bang bang tick tock, fucking suck, oil shock. Two on Casano, one in stock. What's the time, motherfucker? I said Glock o'clock. I said Glock o'clock. Beta us in with Charlotte slash Becky an impending rock appearance. Yeah. Decent matches with zero build up. Like watching a how to wrestling tape. Good work, but no reason to care besides Becky and Charlotte. Really, that's that's really about it for me too. I mean, Biggie and Roman was anticipated with their being both champions. You know, I mean, like that was all right, man. Like everybody did an all right job tonight. It's not like anybody did anything. Like I don't play. See, I blame none of this on the wrestlers. I, I blame this is all on decision making and goofiness. Like it was this. I thought tonight was a five out of ten pay per view. That's what I thought. You know, and by the way, thank you to. Uh, to six for the for the uh, thirty one dollar donation six that will actually put six back on top top dog thirty one dollars top dog man top dono thank you six thank you guys for all the donations man especially on a night where I'm not the best I'm not I'm not at my top game and I'm only gonna be on for a few more minutes. You guys are fucking awesome, bro. The bottom line is I think it's a 5 out of 10 show tonight. Pat McAfee was fire on commentary. Um, Man, that raw commentary team sucks. That Joe Rogan bald guy is terrible. Is all right, I, I'm sorry. He's actually not terrible. He's actually all right. But for some reason, his announced team is like robots. Like, so boring. Pat McAfee was pretty good. Michael Cole is like pretty good with Matt, Pat McAfee. But it was like, you know, again, the announce team not very good at times and then all right at times. And most of the goodness that came out of what they did was from Pat McAfee's side of things, which is pretty fucking crazy and sad, you know, but yet not sad because I understand why it works. Pat McAfee's entertaining. Why don't they allow everybody to be entertaining? Why don't the play by play guys? Why don't they hire a real play by play guy who can become the new Jim Ross? Why has, why is WWE why did WWE not hire me? Well, you know what I mean? Like it's not about that. Why don't they hire anybody who's good? You know? I get it. I get why Moro Ronaldo isn't there anymore. Because Moro Ronaldo would cry if somebody told him he had a boo boo on his knee. So I understand why Moro Ronaldo isn't there, right? He can't handle it. I understand that. But why don't you hire somebody who does have a voice who is good, who wants to be there no matter what? You don't want to hire me because I'm, I mean, I'm not even me. If you hire me, you get Dan. You don't get Joe. This is a character, right? So you don't, you know, got to worry about that. People try to cancel me. I just, it's fucking, that ain't me. Fuck it. But yeah, it's probably the cancel thing. But it's like, hire somebody with a passion to call wrestling, that knows it, that can be on TV, 
that can take the cues, that can hear the fucking bullshit, that can go to the commercials, that can produce this thing, that can be excited on commentary. Hire somebody like that. Hire somebody with a fucking pulse. Anybody, I don't care who it is. Just please hire them. We already proved that Pat McAfee can be it. He can be the hype guy. He can be the face hype guy, color guy, whatever you want to call it. Beautifully done by Pat McAfee. I've never, I don't believe we've ever seen a guy like this. We've seen face announcers. We've seen face color commentary guys. We've seen heel color commentary guys like Jesse the Body Ventura, like like Bobby the Brain Heenan, you know, Jerry the King Lawler. We've seen the heel thing work. And we've seen the the excited the excited wrestling play by play guy work too, right? We've seen it everywhere, from Gordon Soley to Tony Schiavone to Jim Ross to Vince McMahon himself to Gorilla Monsoon. We've seen that work, and I've seen it not work. Vic Joseph, Michael Cole. Numerous other people don't work. They just don't work. They're dead. I call them dead on arrival. They're dead announcers. Um, the guy fucking crazy Steve. That guy. Sure, there's people probably like him and there's people probably love him. Probably fucking famous. People probably friends with him. Not the best. I call it just dead personality. Get someone to call play-by-play play that's excited about what's going on right now. But they don't. Pat McAfee is the only one that's good. Love you, Joe. JCS Army. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Let's fucking go, Mickey K9. What's up, dude? Mickey K9. What's up, bro? Eighteen dollars getting me soaked, dude. I gotta be Shit up. Bum. I gotta be up at five a.m. Hey, Joe. Yo. Been busy getting ready to move. Raw and SmackDown superstars will be on Raw tomorrow via Vince to be questioned about the egg since it's now missing. Oh, man. I bet The Rock stole it. Don't you think maybe The Rock stole it? I don't know. I don't know. Yo, D. Welsh, what's up? Good luck on the move, man. Let me know how that goes. I know you're moving. Uh, thanks for the $5 and becoming a $5 shit bum. Thank you, bro. Damn. Fuck yeah. What up, Six? We're Garguts at the fucking Cholo. <laughs> Yo soy... Estupido gringo. Oh, yo soy... S -s gringo S estupido. Super chat party! Yeah. E-murder, what's up? Oh, yeah? Pacharo is right. What was the point of the match if you got rid of your own team? That was stupid. Full Gear was the best pay per view of all time. Really, man. I, listen, I like Full Gear, but I thought I thought AEW had better pay per views. E Murder, what's up, E Murder? Holy shit, dude, what's up? Yeah, man. I I don't know, dude. Like I I thought AEW put on better pay per views, but I mean it was great. It was good pay per view, but I thought they've had other ones that were better, but. 
either way, it was much better than this shit. I mean, no doubt about it. But I mean, you know, that's a gimmick they've done for years in Survivor Series. You know, S- team doesn't S- get along; S- they get eliminated because of it. Yeah, Super it's, Chat Party. It's classic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Robert Pattinson is Batman means Taylor Lautner will be Superman means Kristen Stewart will be Wonder Woman, which means Twilight Reunion is coming. Wouldn't that be hilarious if that's true? CC Nation News. What's up with the $5? Thank you. I don't really... You know what's funny about that? you saying that is Leah was watching the Twilight movies all this week. She, I don't know why. She like watches them every year. I'm like, how the fuck can you watch this? Like, for how not girly she is, that's a fucking super girly thing. S- S- Very S- strange. S- super chat party! Adam yeah. Telmage again, what's up? Oh, yeah? Why would Vince give almost that moment when he can't find moments for talents that are promoters' wet dreams like Wyatt and Morrison? Makes zero sense. He probably fucking did it because he doesn't, like, he didn't have anything to do that night. He didn't know what to do. So he's like, all right, here we go. You know what I mean? I'm get. I, I maybe. I don't know, though. Who the who the hell knows at this point? What up, Adam Talmage? Thanks for the donos, man. We don't know where uh, Triple H is. Triple H is going to AEW. Hey, motherfucker, here we go. Oh, Everyone shit! Everyone knows I'm out the window, yep. Cause there ain't no chance in my happy pants Could you for a chance come and take this dance And leave me here I'm a bad motherfucker Ain't got no fear What the time was the time motherfucker Time motherfucker Put it in a happy rhyme motherfucker I say it's clock o'clock Fucking ooh bang bang tick tock Fuck in the sock Oil shock Two on consignment One in stock What's the time motherfucker Say clock o'clock Uh, I like violence and blood when I watch wrestling. Survivor Series sucked, except for that Charlotte Becky match. After that, it was a snooze fest. AEW all the way says Cow Palace Dave. What up, Cow Palace Dave? Yeah, dude. Like, I get. I agree. You know, I I thought Becky and Charlotte was a good effort. I liked that match. Thought it was a good opening too. It was like, yeah, that's a, that's a good opening. All right, it's a pretty good opening for WWE. See what happens. And then it was like, I'm bored. I'm getting border. I'm bored again. Um, this sucks. Oh, okay, bored. Okay, Zia Lee promo. Oh, Zia Lee promo. That was pretty good. Oh, bored again. I'm bored. Oh. Okay, Biggie Roman. This will be fun, but it doesn't matter where the shit. Maybe something will happen at the end that's crazy. Oh, nothing happens. Okay, it was a pretty good heavyweight little match. Uh, okay. And then Vince McMahon at some point, we saw Vince show up with a fucking egg thing. And I went, what the fuck is this? Uh, Vince McMahon is fucking sitting across from Roman Reigns. For some reason, decides to bring an egg to the arena. And then the egg goes missing. I can only imagine what this was like when they were pitching it or whoever pitched it. Well, what if I had an egg, a golden egg that was given to me by the rock? And then somebody steals the golden egg and then you don't know who stole it. And, but what if, what if it, what if it was returned by the person who stole it on Monday Night Raw the next night? Well, yeah, well, okay, well, who, who's going to steal it and be the one to give it back to you the next night on Raw? Well, maybe it won't be the next night on Raw. Maybe it'll be, uh, it'll be weeks to go by until we find out who took the egg and we find out it was The Rock who took the egg. And The Rock brings the egg back to me. I mean, I don't know. Who the, like, what the fuck did this sound like? When it was being pitched by whoever. The fuck? Fucking weird. Shit bum. My second donation got skipped. I did a $31 one. Can you please play it? Yo, six. Wait a minute. It did? It says, what the fuck? Here it is. 
Wait, you said what the fuck? Here it is. I see it. It got skipped. I don't think it got skipped, did it? I thought it played earlier. It was the uh, thirty-one dollar. I got too drunk on Christmas night. Or oh, did you play another one? Wait, did you do another one that I missed? I got too fucking drunk on Christmas night. Yo, six. Thank you, man. Five dollar shit bomb. Does anybody know? Looks like my little lass needs a shaving. <laughs> Due to budget cuts, I have been released from my WWE contract. I'd like to thank WWE for nothing. I literally haven't watched any WWE in weeks other than 10 minutes tonight. I don't blame it makes you. me anxious waiting every Wednesday wanting to watch it and not to end. <laughs> yeah, Deftones. What up, Deftones? Yeah, dude, actually, I, I honestly, WWE had been putting me to sleep anyway. But with me having to work, you know, double jobs, um, this is just murdering me. You know, it's just fucking murdering me. I can't even hide it. You can see how tired I am. You can tell I'm not myself. You know, I can't even hide su it. Su su super chat party. Oh, yeah. How about on the pre-show Smatter had one win on the pre-show because of Damien Priest got disqualified. Um, How about the pre-show had one win on the pre-show because Damian Priest got disqualified. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I saw the listing for it, but I missed the match. Evan Sussman, what's up, Evan? So, you know, I didn't even see that. I'd have to take your uh, word on that one. I got home right as Survivor Series was starting, so I missed the first five minutes of Becky Charlotte. Um, But I liked it. S -s 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 Super Chat Party! Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love violence too, but GCW is better than you. Um, Donnie Murdoch, what's up, Donnie? I can respect you liking the violence more, and so you like GCW uh, better than AEW. I'm not a violence guy, really. I'm not a full ECW. Uh, CZW guy. I respect that you like that though, but I'm just not into it. I mean, I like I like GCW. I do like them. I just think it's too limited for what like I would rather AEW. But I like GCW. But you know what I mean. I get that some people love that shit more though. And for the first time in history, it's gonna start raining, it's raining, oh, it's raining. My last donation did play it just came in late when I did that $5 donation. Man, you gotta love six, bro. The guy literally donates five bucks to tell me I missed his other dono. Then donates $18 just to say that I, I didn't miss it. Even though I already acknowledged in the chat, this motherfucker is just donating to support the show because he's awesome. He knows he doesn't have to donate that to tell me, but he's that sexy that he does it. Six, thank you, man. That's very nice of you. Thank you, brother. Thank you guys. Um uh, Hey famous B, what's up, man? Um So yeah, so it's uh it's I think I trying to think of anything else I missed. I mean I kinda told you the commentary. I really didn't enjoy that too much. Um so the comp you know 
I, I just don't don't feel it, don't buy it, don't like it. A sign, somebody took a sign tonight. One thing I didn't get to that I meant to get to uh, that, we, that I didn't talk about was that somebody took a sign that said uh, something about Triple H, and it was it was it was like a positive sign. It was like yo, somebody like where's Triple H or like some I don't know. We we uh, where was it? Um, I tweeted it. I, t I tweeted it somewhere. Um, trying to find it. I thought I tweeted it. Does anybody in the chat know what I'm talking about? I, I thought I tweeted it out. Maybe I just liked it. It was a Triple H sign that said something like, when is, is I hope Triple H comes back soon or I hope he's okay or something like that. And they took the sign. Oh, it was blocking the view of others, D. Welsh says. Okay, thank you, D. Welsh. I didn't know why, man. Thank you. Thank you, D. Welsh, man. I did not I didn't realize that. I I had no idea. I that makes sense. That makes way more sense. That yeah, it was like a we miss you, Triple H. That's what it was, Michael. We miss you, Triple H. So they took it because people were complaining about it, because people were it was blocking people. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. It was that it was people, it was block, it was uh, obstructing people, so they were complaining about it. That makes sense. All right, so that's what happened. Okay, I I I did. I looked it up in a couple of different places, and that's that's what it was. Jesus. That makes perfect sense. Um, so many signs you couldn't even see in the crowd. Um, M back says, oh, D. Wells says I read the comments. Yeah, that makes sense. 99 and 2000, so many signs you couldn't even see in the crowd. You, you couldn't even see the crowd. Yeah, it's funny. There's so many fucking signs you couldn't see the goddamn crowd. You know what I mean? What's up? What's up, Gaza? How you doing, man? Dude, I miss Triple D's. I don't know if we're ever... I, who knows when we're going to see... Uh, who knows when we're going to see Triple H again, you know? Who knows when Triple H is going to make his way back around again, you know? It, I don't I don't know if it's, it's medical. I, I'm, I, I would think that it's medical reasons why Triple H isn't there or why he's... Still out, you know, taking it easy, taking like a long break, you know, trying to get fit and take heart things and, you know, figure out what the, what the goal is, you know, come, you know, when he can come back and how safe it is to do what, when, whatever, you know, it's gotta, it's, it's gotta be the thing. But I mean, if Triple H, you know, was really a lot of people saying he's leaving or something like that, I mean, with what they did to NXT, I mean, if I was Triple H, I go to I go to AEW and just blow the roof off the world. But it's like doesn't make any sense with his family being so involved in uh, WWE. Why would he do this? Triple H took the jab. Yeah, that's a good point. It could be. It could be the heart started swelling from the goddamn fucking jabby jube. You know. Vince is stressing him out. Yeah, you think Vince is stressing him out? Vince has been stressing him out for a long time. But you get to hide in NXT though. At least you get to hide down there in NXT. You know, at least you get to hide down there. Now he can't hide. You know, now he can't do that. Now, I didn't see green shirt guy, but fuck that guy, fuck him to hell. 
probably get released at the dinner table yeah, on Thanksgiving. Vince will say thank you for your services. Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? He gets released at the fucking McMahon dinner table. <laughs> the egg beat the Falcons, bro. The egg beat the fucking Falcons, bro. That's pretty fucking funny. That is pretty funny shit, bro. Gets released at the dinner table. They're cutting the turkeys. What if the turkeys fired us? He gets fired. You're fired. Fuckhead. I don't know. Uh. Motherfucker, here we go. Everyone knows I'm out the window. Yep. Yo, motherfucker. No romance, cause there ain't no chance in my happy pants. Could you perchance come and take this dance? And leave me here. I'm a bad motherfucker. Ain't got no fear. What the time was the time, motherfucker? Time, motherfucker. Put it in a happy rhyme, motherfucker. It's clock o'clock. Bang, bang, tick tock. Bug in a sock. Oil shock. Two on consignment, one in stock. What's the time, motherfucker? Set clock o'clock. I said clock o'clock. Corny rabbit hole the other day. Gotta respect the historian he is even when he's at his worst. He talked some trash about you. Didn't mention you by name, but it was obvious. Thoughts on Corny? Wait, Cornette brought me up again? Recently? That's weird. Talk trash about me? Are you sure he's talking about me? He probably wasn't talking to me. Corny rabbit hole the other day. What is corny? What is corny rabbit hole the other day? What does that mean? I love I love cornet. I love cornet. Got to respect the historian he is, even though he's at his worst. He talks some trash about you. I love I love Jim Cornet, but I don't know when he talks shit about me though. Again, find me the clip. Why don't you send me the clip? Give me the clip, so I can listen to it. Because I've heard people say that before where they say, someone talks shit about you. And then I listen to it. I'm like, man, you know, that could be anybody. That could be like any fucking anybody. It could be so many different people. And I'm like, nah, it's not about me. But, you know, like then there's sometimes I hear something and I'm like, yeah, that's about me. Yeah, that's that's all that's about me. You know? It's like when, when Ryback was like, this guy was at the fucking thing. It was like, you know, we all knew he was talking about me. But, you know, but there's been other times where like, right back or someone says something about someone and i'm like no it's not about me and or or even if it is it's like could be about anybody that's a podcaster so it's not really a big deal you know but that's you know yeah glock o'clock man if i could if i could if i knew arn anderson and cody rhodes a little better especially cody rhodes if i had cody rhodes's phone number because some people give me their phone numbers, but if I had Cody Rhodes' number, dude, I would have texted him and I would have been like, dude, you got to get Arn Anderson this Glock O'Clock song. This has got to be his. This has got to be his song. And um, so I would... Um, I would uh I would I would have sent that text immediately and said, Yo, you gotta have our Ar- Arn Anderson has to like you've gotta go with this. People are loving this gun thing. And you would think AEW would be completely against that sort of thing because guns and fucking their you know, whatever. But they seem to would roll with it a bit. And I think if they if you could just get that Glock a Glock fucking song it would have really uh That would have really taken off. You know what I mean? Clock o'clock. That would have been fire. The egg was uh, stolen by the guy who uh, mowed down the people at the Wisconsin parade. Oh my God! Jesus, imagine that! I got the egg. He was look. You know, he was looking for the egg. He was just looking for the egg. That's all. You know. 
He was looking around for it. He found the egg. He fucking drove it home. You know? Imagine driving the egg. Uh, imagine, uh, imagine, dri- imagine driving around looking for a fucking little golden egg. I thought it was a play on the... Um, all I thought was when Vince came out with the egg, I was like, was it the gobbledygooker thing? It's the gobbledygooker or whatever. It's like some kind of joke on that. He's like, no, the rock gave me this golden egg. I was like, I really would have believed anything but that. That was a little over too ridiculous. And it's worth a hundred million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or whatever it was worth. What the fuck was it worth? Dude, I would believe, I'd believe that egg was worth like $10,000, maybe $50,000, maybe $80,000. I think Vince said something like a fucking million dollars or something. I, I don't. I don't know if I would have. If I would have believed. That. You know what I mean? That amount of money that Vince uh, said it was for. You know? Fucking weird. Fucking strange. That being said, it's uh pretty late. Thank you guys uh, for hanging out tonight. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for hitting that like button. Thanks for hanging out with me even though I was a little bit late, like 8, 10 minutes late or something like that to start the stream, which probably made people think, oh my God, he fell asleep. He's not here. So $100 million egg. That's right. It's $100 million. Like, I don't think anybody believes that. I just That was like way too outrageous. Like just say a million dollars. Even a million. I would have said half a million dollars. Oh, I don't know what red 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 notice Netflix movie is. Oh God, if that's the case, then I'm really out of touch, you know. But I'm gonna give tonight a five out of ten. This is fucking terrible. Maybe a four out of ten. Probably give it a, a four out of ten tonight. I give this a four out of ten. Fuck it, I'm gonna give you a four out of ten. So I'm gonna give it four out of ten. Fucking trash. Except for Becky and Charlotte, Zia Lee promo. 444 votes. Uh, we have uh, 45, 65. It's like 65% negative on this show. That's not good. That is not good. Everybody. Everybody have a good night. I love you. End the fuck over. S- um, S- um, S- but no, he's still super chat party. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Joe, you look like you hit your bong right now, lol. I look like I, uh, Joe. You look like you hit your bong right now. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I look fucking crazy. Um. Yeah, I do. I look fucked up. Um. I was having a, I think I was having a panic attack. Um, just having, I think that's what it, it's probably what it is. I'm like freaking out. Uh, sorry about that. That's, that's what it is. That's what, probably why, um, my eyes are red. Uh, it's not, it's, that's what it is. So I'm, <laughs> I wish, I wish I was high though. If I was high, that'd be, that'd be funner than this. Uh, it'd be, it would be, It'd be funner than this. Put it that way. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Monday Night Raw review. Um, after Raw, you know, hopefully we'll all be awake for it. I think we will. I think we'll be able to get through it. And so I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you for that tomorrow night. Uh, keep it hard. Keep it wet. Keep it long. I give this a four out of uh, four out of ten tonight. Um, it was not good. I think Charlotte and Becky did their best. I think they had a good match. I think they, I think they actually set the pace for like that's a good opening match, and then the rest of the show just went dog shit almost, and so it was just kind of like, well, all that stuff the Becky and Charlotte set up, well, that's it's not what we got. We'll see you tomorrow night for the Monday Night Raw review. Shout out to Six; he's a top dog, top dono. Thirty one dollars coming in from Six is the top sexy piece, and uh, let's, let's get it, let's get it on, baby. I'll see you tomorrow night, and uh, yeah, I'll be. I'll see you tomorrow night. Peace out. You know, I think it's about time for a Ryback roar. 
I think it's about time for a roar. It's time to roar. Roar. Everybody get up. Finish it. Finish it. Roar. Me more. Picture me on the fucking screen right now. Come on, do it. I swear to God, you're gonna fucking rue the day that you talked about me, Joe Cronin. And I'm gonna seriously fucking crush your skull. Do you understand me? Yeah. What's that? What's that? It's the right back rap. What's that? What's that? Who's that? Yo, it's the Ryback Rap. What's that? Yo, who's that? What's that? Yo, it's the Ryback Rap. What's that? Get out the way. You're probably gay. Ryback Rap. How about that? I push your head into the mat and it goes flat. You're not ready for this shell shock And you got a tiny cock It's the Ryback rap the Ryback rap I'm not talking crap So how about that? I get the Ryback rap Ryback rap So top talking shit you're full of crap Finish it Finish this Finish it You're a bitch You're a bitch Yo, yo, it's the right back rap. You talking crap? Go to Amazon and buy my stash. The right back rap. I'm gonna crush your skull in a pit of spikes. It's the right back rap. It's the right back rap. It's the right back rap. Hey Pat Buck, I'm gonna fuck you up. up. It's the right back rap. Don't talk back. If you do, yeah, your head will go splat. It's the right back rap. Finish it. Shell shock. Super man. 
is what women call my dick in the bedroom it is large and in charge yeah it's the right back rap yeah it's the right back rap i'm coming for that ass yeah so join my fitness class it's the right back rap it's the Ryback Rap. Finish it. Hey, Joe Cronin, I'm not even fucking done with you. I'm gonna fuck you up, Joe Cronin. I'm gonna snap your neck. Snap your freaking neck. Do you wanna buy my products? Do you wanna buy my all natural supplements? Feedmemore.com. Yeah, we're talking about supplement stacks. We're talking about all of my Prada.